I don't know. I think fake. <laughs> Crazy, yo, this is crazy, people. That these look, these sneaker resellers are saying fake to an authentic pair. What does that say about Nike's quality? What does it say about fake's quality? Is Nike's quality going down and fake's quality are going up? I mean, this is this is crazy, people. Fake. Yeah. What were you looking at when you're looking at it? I was looking at the tag. Mainly, I was looking at the like the size tag, mm -hmm. and then I was more looking at the stars too. But I've never personally had a pair of Travis's. So okay. Okay. Then then how do you know? Then how do you know? I'm so confused. The font's kind of in, so already off the bat, I'm kind of skeptical. So I'm already off the font on a size tag. Size tag. See if the font's good. Yep, the font's off. The font is off. Checking the insole. I mean, the stitching seems good on the back. I kind of look at the font back here. Font. Here, see if the font's good. The font. Seems okay. If I had a black light, I'd shine this. See if that's Why are they relying so much on black lights? It doesn't make any sense. And also, you're going to a sneaker event. Why don't you have a black light to legit check? You're dealing with shoes. Why wouldn't you want a black light anyway? Doesn't make any sense. Black light should be like a thing that you always bring to an event to, to make sure. Oh, if I had one, I would know. Then then, then put the fucking shoe down and, and don't legit check. Don't even sell shoes then. Listening, if it's especially on the soles, sometimes the stitching lights up, you know, but I don't have a black light on me. I don't have it. I don't have it with me, guys. I don't have it with me. So I can't check, guys. I don't have it with me. I'm sorry. Like, you can't tell the texture of the paper. The texture of the paper kind of seems off. This guy is so fucking dumb. I'm going to say these are fake. Dingle. How, how much time did he actually spend looking at the shoe? He spent more time looking at the goddamn fucking box, the fucking, the font, and the paper in the box, not the actual shoes. Yeah, you know, if I had my black light, I would have gotten them right. If I had my black light. Just some of the stitching is off too. This is crazy, man. This is this is this is crazy, guys. If if you're watching this video and you're a sneaker reseller or you go to these events for fun, this this should be scary to you. This should be scary that the vendors at these events really don't have any legit checking ability. But then they're selling all these shoes, guys. There has to be so many fakes that are running through these goddamn events. The also the label looks off too. Why does it look off? Tell us why, please. At least those are the, the, the two giveaways for me. And so. What's your verdict? Fake. That, that, like, I, I'm losing my mind right now. You got two pairs to You can look at it with me too. We oh. should have that. I would think that authentication. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just those lines, those grooves. I don't like how like clear it is, but right off the bat, I'd probably pass on them. But oh my god. God, no way. This guy has like 25 pairs of these shoes sitting. You can see it. You can see the pairs behind him. And he, he's gonna pass on them. An authentic pair he's gonna pass on. This is unbelievable, people. They look really clean. Like, the shape is good. Um, I would pass on them, but they look good. I would pass on them, but they look good. So what is it? What is it? Yeah, for me at least. It's unbelievable. Honestly, I just look for quality control most of the time when I like shoes in to try to see if it's real or fake. So sometimes, I mean, recently quality control has been real bad, but on stuff like this, usually they typically don't make it too bad. So I try to look to like the different wrong of the right here, but sometimes it's on real ones too. Um, usually we have a black light to check for stamps or- Dude, why does no one have a black light? This is how it should be everyone, okay? You know like if you're going to watch like a 3D movie theater, you know, you're going to watch like fucking Spider-Man and 3D, three-dimensional movie watching, and you know, every, before you walk into the theater, they give you, you know, the little 3D glasses. Before every single goddamn fucking sneaker convention, there's a pile of black lights. And if you're a vendor, if you're looking to intend to buy shoes, you pick up a black light and you carry that around with you. Because, it, it seems like a necessary thing, and these guys say, if I have my black light, I wouldn't need it. But you, you don't bring it. You're, you're not bringing a black light to a sneaker event, which is one of the most helpful tools, besides your own knowledge, to legit check a pair of shoes, but you don't, you don't bring it. For uh, misstitching, sometimes we get like a black light, there'll be like a, like trace stitching right here and stuff. So, and you have a black light. Like that. Um, yeah, quality, I like to squeeze the sole like that. Usually the fake ones, they'll just fold on you when you squeeze it. This real floppy feeling and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, Travis's are probably the hardest ones to compare and like tell, but honestly, for our store, I would just, I would pass. This is, this is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. I, this is embarrassing. I have lost all faith in the sneaker reselling community. Yeah. Okay. Okay.
I passed these. I think they're good. Oh my god. <laughs> Bad <though>. <laughs> <laughs> No. Damn, I failed. I suck. I should quit my job. Oh, I learned a lot. Yeah, you should. You should quit your job. You should get a real job. This is not a job. This is a hobby. All right, let's see how this tryhard does it. Dumb, dumb, and dumber. Gotta check the insoles, materials, stitching. They look good to me. These resellers love complaining about fakes getting through and how fakes are ruining. But the thing is, you guys are like the first protection to stopping this to happen. But then you guys don't know how to legit check, but then complain when you accidentally get sold a pair of fakes or buy a fake. But you guys are the ones who are allowing it to happen. Like, am, am I... That makes so much sense. You guys are literally like the first wall of defense. Letting fakes into the community. Let them into the market. But then you guys complain that they're in there, but then look at you can't even legit check. Like, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. The only thing that throws me off on the shoe is going to be the reflection on this and how it meets here. So I'm going to say fake. <sighs> it's honestly sad. It's really... I, I, I don't know what's more embarrassing. Getting a real pair and saying it's fake or getting a fake pair and saying it's real. I, I think honestly getting an authentic pair and saying that they're fake is way more embarrassing. Like, look at all the look at all these shoes this guy has. How can you look at this guy and say, you know what, man? You are a reputable seller. You got a fucking gash on your head. Probably someone smacked you because you fucking told their real pair was fake or something. I don't even know. It, it's it's honestly crazy. It's honestly just so embarrassing. And I've lost all faith in the sneaker community. 